Thanks, Sam Linus and Bill O'Reilly. In a weekdays of Bernie segment tonight, as we mentioned in the Talking Points memo, most liberal commentators silent about the ISIS and Putin situations right now. The most generous TV journalist towards President Obama continues to be Brian Williams, the anchor of the NBC Nightly News. Joining us now from North Carolina, the purveyor of uh, BernardGoldberg.com, Mr. Goldberg. So overall, are you surprised at the way ISIS and Putin are being covered by the uh, national media? Well, when it comes to the national media, Bill, very, very few things, if anything, surprise me. Uh, l let me let me give you an overview of this. Answer your question this way. As a general rule of thumb, when the American people lose confidence in President Obama and his poll numbers go down, when members of his own party who have supported him on everything start to lose confidence in President Obama, yeah, then there will be some reporters who tend to hold him more accountable than they ever did in the past, okay? But if the gist of the question about whether I'm surprised is about whether somehow the media have turned the corner and now they're getting tough on him, I said no in the past and I'm saying no again tonight. And I'll give you a current example. Catherine Herridge, the first class journalist at Fox News, comes up with a story the other day that says in part that the President of the United States, Barack Obama, received detailed and specific intelligence regarding the rise of ISIS at least a year before they started gobbling up land in Syria and Iraq. That strikes me as an important story. The president just last week still didn't have a strategy regarding ISIS in Syria, even though for at least a year he's been getting detailed information about them. Right. So how do the networks, the big three networks, where most Americans still get their news, how do they play the story? They don't. Yeah, they didn't mention Nothing. It. Right. Zero. Right. So, so any implication, and I don't know if you were implying it, but others have, that the media are now getting tough on him. Yeah, some reporters are. Some reporters are doing their job. But overall, they will tend to emphasize whatever positive is left of this presidency and de-emphasize the negative. Well, now the only... Friedman in the New York Times, I mentioned last night, is, is probably the only one that I saw this week defending President Obama because Friedman's saying, well, oh, he's being cautious and deliberate and you, you have to do it this way and, and all, you know. I don't see a sense of urgency, as you just pointed out. If you know about something for a year and you don't have a strategy at the end of the year, that's on you. Right. That's your fault, that's especially exactly. when Americans are getting their heads cut off. But the right. other thing that, that struck me was I, I gave the assignment last night to our producers, watch CNN and MSNBC. Watch all their primetime shows. Now, those shows, as you you know, are notorious, notorious for sticking up for President Obama. They all do it, almost 100 percent of them, on a daily basis. Nobody did it last night. No right. one. And that struck me as fairly significant. Yeah, it, it, it's significant. I don't know how significant, but it's significant to this extent. When you do things or don't do things in President Obama's case that are indefensible, when you make a statement about an American getting his head cut off and eight minutes later you're playing golf, when, when you say in, in a statement that you, we, we have to crush uh, ISIS, we have to destroy them, and then a few seconds later you say that maybe they're a manageable problem, yeah, I'll use the word you used on this program a, a month or so ago, it becomes cartoonish if you defend that. You can't defend that. Do you but I'll think, make a prediction. Let me make a prediction briefly. Ahead. I think something will happen between today and Election Day, you know, an October surprise type thing. And if and when it does, the same media that is sort of turning on Obama or not commenting at best about Obama, they will be back on the bandwagon. Yeah, I'm sure. Know. They're looking for a way to get, because as I said, they have a motion invested in him. Last uh, question, 30 seconds. Brian Williams obviously came across last night as somebody who was, you know, giving President Obama credibility on the fight against ISIS. Do you think he knows what he's doing or, or is this, you know, just an anchor man reading the lead? No, he's not just reading the lead. He's an anchor man who's been around a while. This one, if anything surprises me, this one surprises me. You can't say the president was unambiguous and clear when he was the opposite. He was ambiguous and unclear. That's right. And he, everybody he, said it. Even Williams' own correspondent said it. That's so right. So why, why is Williams doing that?
I don't know. All right. That's a good I, answer. I, mean, it's, I don't it's, know either. I don't know why he's doing it. Bernie Goldberg, everybody.